I'm James DeMeo, and I'm doing research on the work of Dr. Wilhelm Reich for about 40 years now in my laboratory, the Oregon Biophysical Research Lab, which is located in Ashland, Oregon. And following this work of Reich, I did some of the earliest studies within a university context to verify his, his controversial orgone energy findings and some of his other findings on human behavior. I published a number of books on these subjects. Um, a lot of this is focused upon the orgone energy accumulator, which is the box-type device that Reich constructed and which got him in trouble with the Food and Drug Administration, who burned his books and threw him in prison. Uh, so I, I've taken on a number of controversial topics, and uh, not just myself, but other, other people as well have confirmed this work repeatedly, uh, showing that Reich was onto something really quite important and that it worked. Um, in particular, the, uh, the organ accumulator creates a slight temperature increase inside itself. It has certain electrostatic qualities inside itself that are generated uh, quite anomalously. Uh, if you charge up seedlings inside the organ accumulator, they grow about 40% greater than controls. And um, this is on top of the work done by others on uh, cancer mice, that you can extend the life of cancer mice by treating them inside the organ accumulator. And there's all kinds of clinical work that was done by Reich when he was alive and by many others since uh, using the organ accumulator to boost uh, uh, immune system and, and uh, treat the, a variety of symptoms of, of different diseases. Um, myself, I focused also on Reich's controversial cloud busting uh, device. And actually, I tested that out in the University of Kansas back in 1979. And we verified that uh, the weather over the entire state of Kansas was uh, altered towards increased rain and cloud cover uh, within a couple of hours of starting operations on a, on a number of test days. And we proved basically that this very controversial device, could, you know, which affects weather over a big area, uh, actually worked. And actually, I've been able to, to show that when you charge water up inside of an orgone energy accumulator, the water changes its properties significantly in the ultraviolet absorption. And also, there's a, a fluorescence reaction in the same orgone charged water that you don't see in, in the, the, the bulk water or the control water before you've charged it. So um, I'm, I'm continuing to investigate these lines of, of research and uh, get better documentation as best as I can. This conference has all kinds of people who are um, investigating water from different perspectives. And they're, they're uh, primarily with Jerry Pollack's work with this, uh, what he calls the easy water, the exclusion zone water, um, is showing reactions very similar to what I'm getting with the orgone accumulator. And uh, I believe that what a lot of these people are, are documenting is the existence of a new energy principle in nature 